Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the addition and subtraction of matrices. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, make sure you consider subscribing and pressing the notification button so that you do not miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics. So let's begin. So for us to be able to add a matrix, we need to make sure the order of the matrices are the same. So what do I mean by this? So what I mean by this is what we can add or subtract a 2x2 two two matrix. Okay, we can add or subtract a 2x2 two two matrix to another what 2x2 two two matrix. It is allowed. We can add a 3x3 three three matrix. Okay, or subtract it from another what 3x3 three three matrix. The same way we can add, let's say, a 2x3 two three matrix. Okay, or subtract it from what another what 2x3 three matrix. Okay. Once the order of the matrix is the same, we can add or subtract them. But in the case where in the cases where the uh, the order of the matrices are not the same, for instance, we have a a two by two matrix. Okay, we have to add or subtract it from another what matrix of the other two by three. This is not possible. We cannot add or subtract a matrix that do not have the same order. So let me use red to depict that. So it means this matrix we cannot add this matrix because they do not have the same order the same way we cannot add a two by four matrix we cannot add or subtract a two by four matrix to let's say a three by three matrix or let's say a four by four matrix we cannot add or subtract a four by four matrix to a four by three matrix this cannot happen so we can only add matrices that are of the same order so let's look at how to add matrices okay so how to add how to add matrices so assuming we have matrix a given to us by let's say a b c and d and another matrix b which is given to us by what e f g h okay if we are asked to find uh, let's say a plus b all we need to do is to add let's say this is how we add the matrix so we add the a the the first element over here with the first element in the second matrix okay so we add a plus e so we add this with this then we add b with f so this becomes what b plus f the same way we add C with G, so we have C plus G, then we add what D with what H, so we have D plus H. So we can see that if the matrices do not have the same order, okay, we may not be able to add some of the elements because uh, the matrices, the orders are different. For, for instance, if we have, let's say, a 2 by 4 matrix, that is uh, 2 rows, so we have... Um, Let's say 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, negative 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so let's say this is B. So this has two rows and then what? Four columns. So this is what? 2 by 4 matrix. And we have matrix C, which is, uh, let me say, um, uh, 3 by 4 matrix. So 3 by 4 so I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 negative 1 2 negative 4 7 okay so here I have three rows so it becomes what three and then columns I have four columns this becomes three by four now the fact that the order of these two matrices are the same means we cannot add them so if we have if we are supposed to add B to C this is what we are supposed to get so we can add let me use another color so we can add the two over here to the one over here then we add the four over here to the two over here then we add six over here to this then we add the eight over here to the one over here now you get to realize when we are adding the rules we can add them and we have their answers over here respectively over here 
but what what happens if we are now adding the second row if we add the second row we are also going to get the answer over here but this guy does not have a third row and then this guy has a third row so in that case this guy only has uh two rows and then this guy has three rows so you can see that one row is missing so we cannot add that so the fact that we cannot add the last row because this one has a last row and this one does not have the third row means what our answer over here is going to be what invalid okay we can add um, all the other elements and leave this row uh and added okay so that is why we can add um, matrices that do not have the same order so for us to be able to add matrices we need to make sure they are of the same order like for instance this case this is a two by two matrix so we can add it to another what two by two matrix all right so the 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 other thing we need to note is that addition of matrices is commutative so addition of matrix is commutative what it means is that if we have matrix A and we add it to B, it is equal to if you have matrix B and we add it to matrix A. It's the same thing. Or if we have matrix A plus B, we add them first before we add another matrix C. It is the same as what? If we add matrix A, sorry, if we add matrix B to C before we add matrix A. Provided all the, all the matrices over here have the same order. Okay, so we need to make sure they have the same order before we can add them. Alright, so with this basic introduction to our addition of what matrices, let's have a look at an example. So example number one, if you have the matrix M is equal to, then we have 10, 8, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 3, and 2. As our first matrix and then the second matrix is what 2 4 2 1 7 2 and then 3 3 4 and we have to find i m plus n i i n plus m and i i i we have to show whether addition okay is commutative all right so let's write down the solution for this example now first of all we need to check whether the order of the matrices are the same before we can be able to add them so we have this is row one row two and then row three so we have three rows multiplied by we have column one column two column three so this is a three by three matrix this matrix is also it also has what row one row two row three and then column one column two column three so this is also what a three by three matrix the fact that the order of the matrices are the same means we can easily add them so let's look at i so uh m plus n is simply the addition of the two uh matrices that we have so we have 10 2 7 8 4 3 then 1 5 2 plus the second matrix which is what 2 4 2 1 7 2 and then 3 3 4 so let me use another color to show the final result so first of all we add the 10 over here to the 2 over here. So 10 plus 2, that is going to give us 12. Then we add the 2 over here with the 4 over here. So 2 plus 4, that is going to give us what? 6. Then we add the 7 over here to the 2 over here. So 7 plus 2, that is going to give us 9. Now, 8 plus the 1 over here, that is going to give us 9. Then the 4 over here plus the 7 over here. So 4 plus 7, that is going to give us 11. Now 3, okay, plus the 2 over here is going to give us 5. So if we come to the last row, we have 1 over here, then we have 3 over here. So 1 plus 3, that is giving us 4. We have 5 over here, we have 3 over here. So 5 plus 3, that is going to give us 8. 
then we have 2 and then 4 over here that is going to give us 6 so if we add matrix m to n we are going to get this as our final answer so we have 12 6 9 9 11 5 then 4 8 6 now let's look at the second one that is if we are adding matrix n first to m so what we are going to get so we have matrix n is what 2 4 2 1 7 2 and then 3 3 4 so we are adding that to the second matrix which is what 10 2 7 8 4 3 then 1 5 and 2 so let's have a look at our solution okay, so let me use white as the answer for this so first of all we need to add the first rule to the first rule over here so we add the 2 over here okay to the 10 over here so 2 plus 10 that is 12 then we add the 4 over here to the 2 over here so 4 plus 2 that is going to give us 6 and then we add the 2 over here to the 7 over here so 2 plus 7 that is going to give us 9 so if we add the 1 over here to the 8 over here we are going to get 9 then we have 7 plus 4 that is going to give us 11 then we have what 2 and then we have 3 so 2 plus 3 that is going to give us 5 if we add 3 and 1 we are going to get 4 if we add 3 and 5 we are going to get 8 and if we add 4 and 2 we are going to get what 6 so this is uh, m sorry n plus m and then this is what m plus n now if we compare the two matrices we can see that they have the same elements okay so the fact that the elements or because matrix m plus n and n plus m has the same elements and are equal we can see that what matrix m plus n okay is equal to what matrix what n plus m because they have the same elements and then they are also equal so therefore addition so the i i i aspect therefore addition of matrices so addition of matrices is what commutative commutative all right so now let's look at how to subtract matrices so if you want to subtract matrices let's say we have matrix a which is equal to a b negative c and d and we have matrix b which is equal to negative e negative f then g and then negative h so we are to find so we are to let's find one we have matrix a minus b and then i i matrix b minus a okay and we also to see whether they are what are uh, commutative or not or we have to identify whether subtraction is commutative or not so let's look at how to subtract matrices so if we are going to subtract matrices okay so let's say um let's subtract the first one so we have a minus b so it means we write our first matrix which is a b negative c and then d then minus the second matrix which is what negative e negative f g and then negative h okay so if we subtract this we are going to subtract a so we have a so we have a here then this negative sign minus then into brackets the negative e we have over here negative e okay then we go to the second side we have b negative f so we have b minus this minus then minus minus f over here then we have negative c okay minus g and then we have over here d okay minus then minus what h over here okay but mind you this is a two by two matrix and then this is also a two by two matrix so we can subtract them because they have the same order so if we uh simplify this we are going to have what a plus e at the top over here then b plus f 
at the top over here then negative c minus g and then what g plus what h over here as the solution for more matrix a minus b now let's find matrix b minus a so b minus a we have let me use another color okay so b minus a we have negative e negative f g negative h then minus matrix a which is what a b negative c and then d so this is equal to then we have the b coming first so we have negative e minus a then we have negative f okay minus b so negative f minus b then we have g okay minus g minus negative c so negative c over here and then we have negative h minus what the d we have over here so if we simplify this we can see that we have what negative e minus a negative f minus b so we have matrix a is equal to 5 3 2 then we have 8 4 1 then we have matrix D is equal to 1, 2, 0, then 3, 0, 1. So we have to find I, A minus D, I, I, D minus A, and then I, I, I. Whether subtraction, okay, is commutative commutative so we have to find whether subtraction is commutative so let's write down our solution okay so first things first i need to determine the order of the matrices and see whether i can be able to what to add them so i know this is my first row this is my second row this is my first column column one this is my second column this is my third column from top to down top to down top to down so it means i have two rows and three columns so it's a two by three matrix over here so this side also has the same one i have row one row two that is from here here okay then from top to down top to down i have what column one column two and then column three so this is also a two by three matrix so the fact that both of them are two by three matrices i can add or subtract them easily so let's look at i so matrix a minus d is equal to i write down the matrix a so which is 5 3 2 8 4 1 then minus matrix d matrix d is what 1 2 0 and then 3 0 1 so this is equal to and i write a bigger bracket over here so let me put them into bracket. So I have 5 minus 1. So I'm going to write 5 minus 1. So this minus this. Then the second one is going to be 3 minus 2. So I have 3 minus 2. Then the third one is going to be this 2 over here minus 0. So I have 2 minus 0. So I come down. I have 8 here and 3 here. So it's going to be 8 minus 3. Then 4 minus 0. So I have 4 minus 0. And then the last one, 1 minus 1. So it's going to be 1 minus 1. Sorry, 1 minus 1. So finally, finally, my matrix is going to be 5 minus 1. That is going to give me 4. Okay. 3 minus 2 is going to give me 1. 2 minus 0 is going to give me what? Uh, 2. And then 8 minus 3, that is going to give me 5. 4 minus 0 is going to give me 4. And then 1 minus 1 is going to give me 0. So this is what matrix what A minus what D. So I, I, let's find matrix what D minus A. So for D minus A, let me use another color. So for D minus A, I have matrix D first. So I have 1, 2, 0, and then 3, 0, 1. Then minus matrix A, which is what? 5, 3, 2, 8, 4, 1. So that means I have something like this. So I have matrix D first, that is 1, then minus the 5 over here. So 1 minus 5, 
then I have the 2 minus 3 so I have 2 minus 3 then I have 0 minus 2 so I have 0 minus 2 so if I come down here I have 3 minus 8 so 3 minus 8 then I have 0 minus 4 0 minus 4 over here then over here 1 minus 1 so I have 1 minus 1 over here so my final answer is going to be 1 minus 5 will give me negative 4 2 minus 3 will give me negative 1 0 minus 2 will give me negative 2 so 3 minus 8 will give me negative 5 0 minus 4 will give me negative 4 and then 1 minus 1 will give me 0 so I can see that matrix D minus A okay is not equal to matrix A minus D because over here the values are all positive and then over here the values are all negative so I I I because what A minus D is not equal to what D minus A it implies that what subtraction subtraction of matrix X subtraction is not what is not commutative okay so hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be talking about the multiplication of matrices so for us to be able to multiply matrices we need to make sure that the matrices are compatible what do I mean by this let's have a look at an example so assuming we have a matrix uh, of the form let's say a B C and then D and we are to multiply this matrix by another matrix that is what E F G H I and then what J okay so before we need to uh, multiply this matrix before we multiply these two matrices we need to check whether they are compatible or whether we can multiply them or not so let's first of all write the order of this matrix so this uh, matrix has what one row and then two rows so it has row one row two that is from left to right left to right over here so from top to bottom top to bottom those are columns so we have what column one column two so this is what a two by two matrix so the first two is the fact that it has two rows and then the second one is the fact that it has what two columns now if you look at this this also has what row one and then row two but it has column one column two and then what column three so it is what a two by three matrix okay so uh, this is our row this is our column this is our row and this is our column so these two matrices are what two by two matrix multiplied by what or what a two by three matrix now let's look at whether these matrices are compatible or whether we can multiply these two matrices if we look at the column of the first matrix and then the row of the second matrix we get to realize that these two okay these guys are the same okay the fact that these two are the same okay the inner ones are the same means what we can multiply the two matrices okay so if we multiply the two matrices we are going to get what a two by three matrix so if we multiply these two guys we are supposed to get what a two by three matrix okay so it means we can multiply this matrix okay now Assuming we have another matrix of the form, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then we are multiplying it by what? A matrix of the form 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, and 6. Okay? So first of all, let's identify the, the orders of the following matrices. So this matrix has from left to right over here, this is what? Row 1 row 2 and then what row 3 this is column 1 column 2 and then column 3 so this is what 3 by 3 matrix okay now if you look at this this has what row 1 row 2 that is from here to here here to here then from top to bottom there are the columns so we have column 1 column 2 and then column 3 so we have a 2 by 3 matrix over here now let's look at this so we are trying to multiply this matrix by this matrix so we have what a 3 by 3 matrix being multiplied by what a 2 by 3 matrix now what we need to look out for is the fact that if we look at the column of the first matrix and then the row of the second matrix we get to realize that these these two okay these two 
uh, values are not the same okay they are not the same the fact that the column of the first matrix and then the rule of the second matrix do not match or are not the same means that we cannot multiply this matrix okay so we cannot okay cannot multiply this matrix that means if we are supposed to multiply this matrix we are not going to get any answer because we cannot multiply these two matrices due to the fact that the column of the first matrix and then the rule of the second matrix are not the same okay so these two guys are not the same so we cannot use this guy and this guy okay as our final matrix unlike the case of the first guy okay or the first example where we have uh, these two guys being the same so therefore we can use these guys okay as the final matrix these guys the middle guys over here are not the same so we cannot have these and these being our final matrix so always make sure you check that before you proceed to multiply your matrix now let's go ahead and look at how the multiplication actually works so assuming we have the matrix of the form matrix a given to us as what a b and then c d and we are to multiply that by what matrix b which is what um e f g and h okay so we are to multiply these two matrices okay so first of all we need to check whether we can be able to multiply these matrices so this is a two by two matrix and then this is also a two by two matrix the fact that this the middle guys over here are the same okay means we can multiply the matrix so we are expecting to get what this guy and this guy as the final matrix so which is what a two by two matrix so we are expecting a two by two matrix at the end of our multiplication so let's have a look at how we multiply all right so when we want to multiply what we do first is what we take the first row over here and we use it to multiply the first column over here then the same row then we use it to multiply the second column okay then we come back we come back then we use the second row over here to still multiply this first column and then the the first row over at uh, the second row over here sorry to multiply the second column over here as well to get our answer so let's have a look at how we do that okay so by using this first row to multiply this column we have what a multiplied by e so we have a e over here then plus then we use the b to multiply the g over here so we have what b g okay so we add the two and that will give us the first element over here now we use this same rule to multiply the second column over here so it's going to be what a multiplied by f then plus what the b multiplied by it so b h over here as the second element in the first rule of our answer okay so let me quickly erase this all right so for the second row okay we use this guy to multiply this guy first and then this guy to multiply the following guy as well so we use c multiplied by e so we have what c e plus then the d we multiply the g over here so d g okay then the same row multiplied by these two guys over here so we have c multiplying the f over here so we have c f then plus the d will multiply the h over here so we have what d h okay so if we add these two these two these two and these two we are going to get something in the form let's say m1 m2 uh c2 uh c3 something like this so we get one value uh, we get a, a value here, a value here, a value here, and value here, and then this is what a two by two matrix, as we are expecting to get from the fact that this is two by two matrix, and then these two guys are the same, so we are getting these two guys as our final matrix. So let's have a look at an example to appreciate what uh, we are talking about.
So the first example we want to look at is to uh, multiply the two matrices, matrix A, which is what? 2, 6, 4, 8, by matrix B, which is what? 3, negative 5, negative 7, 9. So we have to find, we have to find AB and what? B, A. All right, so let's look at uh, how to multiply these two matrices. So like I said, the first thing we need to do is to make sure the order of these matrices actually match and uh, we need to verify whether we can multiply these two matrices. So if we look at this matrix, it has what? Two rows and then two columns. So it is what? A two by two matrix. Then multiplied by the second one is also what? A two by two matrix. So we have two by two matrix multiplied by another two by two matrix. The fact that this guy and this guy are the same means we are going to get this and this as our final answer so we are expecting to get what a two by two matrix as our answer okay so if let's find a b so a b is going to be what matrix two six four eight multiplied by what matrix three negative five negative seven and nine so this is equal to, so we use the first row over here to multiply this column first. So we have the 2 multiplying the 3 over here. Let me erase that so that we can see them. So we are going to use this column, uh, this column over here. Sorry. We are going to use this row, the first row over here to multiply this column over here. So it's going to be into bracket. So we are going to have the 2 over here multiplying the 3 over here. So we have 2 multiplied by 3, then plus. Then the 6 over here, okay, we multiply the negative 7 over here. So we have 6 multiplied by what? Negative 7, okay? Then we use this, okay, this over here to multiply what we have over here. So we have the 2 we multiply the negative 5 over here. And then the 6 over here will multiply the 9 over here. And then we add them. So we have over here. So we have this guy multiplying this guy. So we have the 2 multiplying the negative 5. So 2 multiplied by what? Negative 5. Then plus the 6 multiplied the 9 over here. So 6 multiplied by 9. Okay. Now that we are done with the first one. So we move to the second one. So let me use another color to repeat that. So we are going to use this guy over here to multiply this guy so we have 4 multiplied by what the 3 over here then plus the 8 over here will multiply the negative 7 so 8 multiplied by what negative 7 then we come here we use this same rule to multiply this column so we have 4 multiplied negative 5 4 multiplied by what negative 5 then plus the 8 over here will multiply the 9 over here so we have 8 multiplied by what by 9 so this is equal to now 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 then uh, 6 multiplied by negative 7 that will give us negative what 42 2 multiplied by negative 5 will give us negative 10 okay then plus 6 multiplied by 9 will give us what 54 now 4 multiplied by 3 will give us 12 plus 6 multiplied by negative 7 will give us what? Negative 56. And then uh, 4 multiplied by negative 5 will give us negative 20. Plus 8 multiplied by 9 will give us what? 72. So it means our final matrix is going to be, if we add this and this, we are going to get what? Negative 36. This and this will give us what? 44. Then these two guys over here will give us what negative 44 over here and then these guys will give us what 52 so this is our answer for multiplying part matrix a and b so now let's find matrix what b a okay let me try and squeeze them over here so for b a we have 3 negative 5 negative 7 9 multiplied by matrix a which is what 2 6 Four eight. Okay, so this is equal to 
so let's multiply that so um, this is going to be we are going to use this row to multiply this column first so we, we are going to have 3 over here multiplied by this 2 then plus the negative 5 over here multiplied by the 4 over here so negative 5 multiplied by 4 then we use this same row by this column so it's going to give us what 3 multiplied by 6 3 multiplied by 6 then plus the negative 5 over here multiplied by 8 over here so we are going to have negative 5 multiplied by 8 then we come to the second row over here so this row multiplied by this column so we are going to have negative 7 multiplied by 2 then plus then 9 multiplied by 4 so 9 multiplied by 4 okay then we have this same row over here then by this column this time around so we are going to have negative 7 multiplied by 6 over here then plus then we have the 9 over here multiplied by 8 over here so we have 9 multiplied by 8 now if we do the computation of everything over here into our calculator we are going to get negative 14 over here negative 22 for this side then we get positive 22 for this side and we get what 30 for this side over here okay so our matrix a b this is our answer and then our matrix b a this is our answer if we do the multiplication Right, so let's have a look at another example. So example number two, we have to multiply the matrix A is equal to 1, 5, 2, 7, 4, 6. Then we multiply this by matrix B, which is equal to what? 6, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. Okay, so we have to find matrix what? A, B. All right. So as usual, we need to uh, check whether we can be able to multiply these two matrices. So matrix A, okay, let's find the order of matrix A. Matrix A has what? This is row 1, this is what? Row 2, and this is what? Row 3. From top to bottom, this is column 1, column 2. So this is a 3 by 2 matrix. So this guy, this is what row 1, this is row 2, this guy, and this is what row 3. So column, we have column 1, column 2, that is from top to bottom, top to bottom. So this is a 3 by 2 matrix. Okay, so both are what? 3 by 2, 3 by 2 matrix. So if we are to multiply uh, uh, 3 by 2 by another 3 by 2 matrix, let's look at that. 3 by 2 by what? multiply by another what three by two matrix now if we look at the column of the first matrix and then the rule of the second matrix we can see that this is three and this is two they are not equal so the fact that they are not equal means we cannot okay we cannot okay multiply we cannot multiply these two matrices this two matrices okay so it means matrix a b okay does not exist okay so matrix a b does not exist so let's have a look at another example and then we end this tutorial so we have matrix a which is equal to what we have two one four then we have 3, 2, 5. Then we have 4, 2, 2. Then we have matrix B, which is equal to 2, 2, 2, 0, 1, 4. Then 3, 0, 2. We also have matrix C, which is equal to 1, 5, Matrix C is equal to what? 152140. And we are to find AB, CA, 
and then what B C alright so let's write down our solution so first of all we need to check whether we can multiply matrix A by matrix B so matrix A it has what row 1 let me use another color matrix A has what row 1 this is row 1 row 2 and then row 3 and then it has what three columns as well so this is column 1 column 2 column 3 so matrix A okay is a 3 by 3 matrix now matrix B on the other hand is also what 3 by 3 matrix just looking at them and then matrix C is what this is what row 1 here row 2 for these guys and then row 3 for this guy so from top to bottom top to bottom this is what column 1 column 2 so it means matrix C is what a 3 by 2 matrix now let's uh, see whether we can multiply a b c a and then b c so for a b a b we are multiplying with 3 by 3 matrix by another what 3 by 3 matrix so because these guys okay are the same it means we can multiply matrix a and b so we are supposed to get at the end we are supposed to get this multiplied by this as our final result so we can get what a 3 by 3 matrix so we can multiply a and b so for c a matrix c and a so we have c is what a 3 by 2 matrix and then uh, our a our a is what a 3 by 3 matrix now because this and this these two guys are not the same okay they are not the same this is two this is three okay matrix c a okay does not exist okay matrix c a does not exist okay so let's find matrix what uh, b c so for matrix b c okay so we know from here we don't even need to waste our time finding matrix what c a so let's find matrix what b c for b c our matrix b is a three by three matrix and then our matrix uh, C is a 3 by 2 matrix. So this and this are the same. They are the same because they are 3, 3. So we are expecting this and this as our final matrix. So we are expecting a 3 by 2 matrix as our answer. So for our AB, we are expecting 3 by 3 matrix. Let me write it over here. And then for... Uh, BC we are expecting what a 3 by 2 matrix all right so let's let me clean this side and then we write our solution all right so let's look at matrix AB so for matrix AB we have 2 3 4 1 2 2 and then 4 5 2 we are multiplying that by another matrix which is what 2 2 2 0 1 4 and then 3 0 2 this is a 3 by 3 matrix and we are expecting an answer of what a 3 by 3 matrix as well so let's look at how we do the multiplication all right so let me use another color for that so first of all we need to use the first row over here this row the first one over here and multiply it against what the first column over here so it's going to be 2 multiplied by this 2 over here 2 by 2 then plus the second value in the uh, the second element in the row over here which is 1 multiplied by the 0 over here so 1 multiplied by 0 then plus the third element over here 4 multiplied by 3 so we have 4 multiplied by 3 okay so we use the same row and then against the second column this time around so it's going to be 2 multiplied by 2 again so we have 2 by 2 then plus the 1 over here will multiply the 1 over here so we have 1 multiplied by 1 then plus the 4 over here will multiply the 0 over here so 4 multiplied by what 0 okay then we use the same row again against the third column this time around so it's going to be 2 multiplied by 2 again so we have 2 by 2 plus the 1 over here multiplied by the 4 over here. So 1 multiplied by 4. Then plus 
the third one which is 4 multiplied by 2 so 4 multiplied by 2 all right so we come down we use the second row this time around so we use this guy against the first column over here so we have 3 multiplied by 2 so we have 3 by 2 then plus then we use the 2 against the 0 so we have 2 multiplied by 0 then plus 5 multiplied by what 3 over here so 5 multiplied by 3 so already you can see the pattern and you can see how it's going so we use this same rule sorry yes this same rule against the second column so we have 3 multiplied by the 2 over here so 3 by 2 then plus the 2 over here multiplied by the 1 over here so it's going to be 2 by 1 then plus then the 5 over here multiplied by the 0 over here so we have 5 multiplied by 0 then for the third one we are going to have this same rule against the third column this time around so it's going to be 3 multiplied by 2 so we have 3 by 2 then plus the 2 over here will multiply the 4 over here that is 2 by 4 then plus the last one is going to be 5 multiplied by 2 so it's going to be 5 by 2 all right so now we use the third row against the first column so that is going to be 4 by 2 that is this 4 multiplied by 2 then plus this 2 multiplied by 0 over here so 2 by 0 then plus this 2 again by 3 over here so 2 by 3 all right so we now use this against the second column so it's going to be 4 by 2 4 by 2 then plus it's going to be 4 by 1 over here sorry this 2 over here by 1 over here so it's going to be 2 by 1 then the last one is going to be this 2 over here multiplied by the 0 over here so plus 2 by 0 then we use the same row against the third column this time around so that is going to be 4 by 2 that is this 4 against the 2 over here then plus this 2 by the 4 over here so it's going to be 2 by 4 then plus then this 2 by the last 2 over here so it's going to be 2 by 2 all right so if we multiply all of this and we add we are going to get over here 2 by 2 is 4 okay plus this is going to be 0 then plus 12 okay so this is going to be 4 plus 1 okay plus what 0 then this is going to be what 4 plus another 4 then plus 4 by 2 that is going to be 8 so the second one we have what 6 plus this guy is 0 plus 15 and then we have this guy is 6 plus uh, this is 2 plus 0 then we have this is 6 plus this is 8 then plus 5 multiplied by 2 this is what 10 so the last one we have 4 by 2 that is going to give us what 8 plus 2 by 0 is going to give us 0 plus 2 by 3 is going to give us 6 then this guy is going to give us 8 plus what 2 then plus what 0 over here and then this is what 8 plus this is another 8 then plus this is 2 by 2 so it's going to give us what 4 so if we add 4 <coughs> sorry if we add 4 plus 12 that is going to give us what 16 so we write the 16 over here if we add 4 plus 1 plus 0 that is going to give us 5 if we add 4 by 4 by 8 that is going to give us what 16 if we add 0 sorry if we add 6 by 0 by 15 that is going to give us what 21 we add 6 plus 2 that is 8 and then we add 6 to 8 to 10 that is going to give us what 24 if we add 0 uh, 8 to 0 to 6 we are going to get 14 if we add 8 by 2 by 0 we are going to get 10 and if we add 8 plus 8 plus 4 we are going to get 20 so this is our answer for multiplying a and b which is a 3 by 3 matrix and the answer 
we are getting is also what a three by three matrix because it has what row one row two row three and then what column one column two and column three as we expect from the beginning so let's find uh bc which is going to be what a three by two matrix all right so let's find matrix b multiplied by c so matrix b c so matrix b is what two 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 then we have zero one four three zero two multiplied by what matrix c which is what one five two one four zero okay so let's do the multiplication somewhere here and then we write our final answer here all right so so we are using the first row over here okay to multiply the first column over here so we are going to have two multiplied by one so we have two multiplied by one then plus these two multiplied by the two over here okay so we have two multiplied by two then we're using the last two to multiply the four over here so it's going to be what two multiplied by what by four then we use this same rule against this column again so we have two multiplied by five so it's going to be two by five okay then these two by the one over here so plus two multiplied by one then plus these two over here multiplied by zero over here so it's going to be two multiplied by zero so that does that for the first one so secondly we need to use this second rule against the first column so it's going to be zero multiplied by what by one then plus the one over here multiplied by two so one multiplied by two then plus this is going to be 4 multiplied by the 4 over here. So 4 multiplied by 4. Okay. Then we use the same row against the second column this time around. So it's going to be 0 multiplied by 5. Then plus the 1 over here multiplied by 1 over here. So it's going to be 1 by 1. Then plus the 4 over here multiplied by the 0 over here. So it's going to be 4 by what? 0. Now we come to the last one. So we use the last row against the first column. So it's going to be... 3 multiplied by 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 then plus the 2 multiplied by 4 okay then we have the same column against the second row over here so we, we are going to have 3 multiplied by 5 3 by 5 then plus 0 multiplied by 1 0 multiplied by 1 then plus 2 multiplied by 0 that is 2 multiplied by 0 so if we add everything at the top over here 2 times 1 that is going to give me 2 plus 2 times 2 that is going to give me 4 then 2 times 4 that is going to give me 8 2 times 5 is going to give me 10 plus 2 times 1 will give me 2 and then 2 by 0 will give me what 0 so I have 2, 4, 8, and then 10, 2, 0 over here. So if I multiply this by this, I'm going to get 0. Then plus 1 by 2, I'm going to get 2. Then plus 4 by 4, I'm going to get 16 over here. Then 0 by 5, I'm going to get 0. Plus 1 by 1, I get 1. Then plus 4 by 0, I get 0. So for the third row, I get 3 by 1, I get 3. Then plus 0 by 2, I get 0. Then plus 2 by 4, I get 8. Then I have over here, 3 by 5, I get 15. Plus uh, 0 by 1, I get 0. Then plus 2 by 0, I get 0. So what it means is that my final answer is going to be 2 plus 4 plus 8. Okay, this is 10 plus 4, that is 14. Then... 10 plus 2 plus 0, that is going to give me 12. Then I have 2 plus 16, that is going to give me 18. Then I have 0 plus 1 plus 0, that is going to give me 1. Then I have uh, 3 by 8, that is going to give me 11. Okay. Then I have 15 plus 0 plus 0, this is going to give me 15. So our answer, let me cancel, this is what? 
15. So this is our answer if we multiply B by C. And let's see whether it is a 3 by 2 matrix. So this is what row 1, this is what row 2, this is what row 3. And this is what column 1, this is column 2. And we know the order of a matrix is by writing what the row multiplied by the column, which is what. Now we have three rows multiplied by what two columns, so it's a three by two matrix. And then we anticipated that our final answer was going to be a three by two matrix. Hello, and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find the determinant of a two by two and three by three matrices. So, if you want to find uh, the determinant of a two by two matrix or a three by three matrix, this is how we go about it. So assuming we have a 2x2 two two matrix given to us as what A is equal to small a, b, c, and d. And we have to find the determinant. The determinant of this matrix can be represented by that A. Okay? The debt is just uh, an abbreviation of determinant. So this simply means determinant of A. And that is equal to. So to find the determinant of A, what we do is what? We multiply these two values, okay, and then we subtract the multiplication of these two values from it. So what I mean by that is what? So first of all, to find the determinant of A, we multiply A and D. So it's going to be what? A multiplied by D. Then we subtract the multiplication of the, the second diagonal, which is what? C and B. So it's going to be C, B. So this becomes what the determinant of a that is what a two by two matrix so this is how we find the determinant of a two by two matrix first of all we multiply the leading diagonal which is a and d we multiply the values over there and then we multiply the second diagonal and then we subtract it from the leading or the first diagonal that is how we find the determinant of a two by two matrix now what happens if we have a three by three matrix this is slightly different. So if we have a 3 by 3 matrix, let's say we have A is equal to, then into bracket we have A1, A2, and then A3. Then we have B1, B2, B3, then C1, C2, and then C3. Okay? What happens if we are asked to find the determinant of this matrix? Now, if we have been asked to find the determinant of this matrix, there is something we need to note before we proceed, okay? And that is the sign of the various elements in the matrix over here. What do I mean by that? Let me use this. Okay? Now, the, the elements over here has a sign when we are going to use them to find uh, the determinant of a matrix. So, the first uh, element over here has a positive, then the second one is negative, then this is positive. So, it goes and it alternates in that and that will, so what I mean by this is a 3 by 3 matrix has the following sign. So the first one is what? Plus. The second one is minus. Then the third one is plus. Then the reverse is uh, true for the second row. That is what this becomes minus, plus, then minus. Then uh, we alternate again. It becomes plus, minus, and then plus. Okay. So you get to understand what I mean by these signs when uh, we are trying to find the determinant of uh, this A. So to find a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, which is what? That A. First of all, we take the first variable over here. So it becomes or the first element over here. So we, it becomes A1. Okay. Remember, we are using the first row. Okay. So in the first row, the sign for the first row is what? The first element in the first row is positive. So this is what? Positive A1. Then once we take this guy, it means we need to cross this guy out and then we cross this row out so we cross this column out and then we cross this row out so we are now left with what a two by two matrix which is what b2 c2 and then b3 c3 okay then the next element we pick is what b1 so let me erase this okay so we now take what b1 now, if we take B1, B1 has the sign of what? Negative. So, it becomes what? Negative B1. Then, we now cross this row and then this column over here. So, we are now left with what? This 2 by 2 matrix. So, it becomes what? A2, 
c2 then what a3 c3 okay then the third uh, element over here it has the sign of positive so it becomes what plus what c1 then if we take that as plus let me erase this if we take that what it means is that we are using this element so we cross out this row and then this column so we are left with just this two by two matrix which is what a2 b2 a3 b3 okay so from here it means determinant of a is equal to then we have our a1 now this is a two by two matrix so like how we uh, find the determinant of a two by two matrix over here we do that for this case so which means which means we take the leading diagonal that is we multiply these two values first so it becomes we multiply these two uh, leading diagonals first so it becomes what b2 c3 then minus then minus then we multiply these two diagonals and we subtract it from it so it becomes minus what c2 b3 okay and then we repeat the same thing for all the other values over here so this becomes minus what b1 then into bracket we multiply this this leading diagonal first so it becomes what a2 c3 then minus then the following diagonal that becomes what c2 a3 then plus what c1 into bracket then we multiply the leading diagonal which is what a2 b3 then minus what a3 b2 okay so this is how we find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix okay now what happens if you are being given this 3 by 3 matrix and you have been asked to use what the second row so you have to use the second row over here to to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix how will you go about that so we are going to look at that in just a few seconds let me erase everything we have over here all right so if we are to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix and we are to use the second rule as in this case over here what it means is that the determinant of a will not be equal to unlike in the first uh, scenario where we were using the first rule and we had to use positive first because this one we have been asked to use the second rule it means the sign of the first element in the second rule is negative so it becomes what negative a2 then once we take that out it means we can cross this guy out this row and then this column so we are left with this two by two as our matrix so we have b1 c1 then b3 c3 okay then plus the plus over here then we take b2 in the second row So we take b2 in the second row so it becomes plus b2 then we cross uh this row out again but this time around this column so we are left with a1 c1 so we have a1 c1 then a3 a3 c3 then minus again because uh this second row the sign is what minus so minus what c2 c2 let me clean this guys minus c2 and then we cancel this rule and then this column this time around so we are left with a1 b1 and then a3 b3 so we have a1 b1 a3 b3 so just like in the first case we are going to have negative a2 then into bracket so we are going to multiply the leading diagonal first okay we multiply these guys first then we subtract these guys from it so it's going to be what b1 c3 minus what c1 b3 okay then plus b2 into bracket we multiply the leading diagonal first that will become what a1 c3 then minus what a3 c1 then minus c2 into bracket we multiply this again so it becomes a1 b3 then minus what a3 b one okay so that is how we find the determinant of the matrix a if we are supposed to use what the second rule as our uh, 
if we are to use the second row okay the same thing applies if we are to use the third row so if we are to use the third row what it means is that we are going to use positive negative positive as the beginning of the values of a3 over here and then uh, b3 and then c3 over here and the corresponding two by two matrix that will be left uh, after we are done with that so let's now have a look at an example so we have a matrix a which is given to us by uh, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 0, 5, 7, 1. And then we have another matrix B, which is what? 6, negative 2, 2, 7, 4, negative 6, 9, 3, and 4. So we have to find that A, which is determinant of A, and then what that B, which is what the determinant of B. So let's find determinant of A. So determinant of A. Because we were not asked to use any particular row, we go with the first row that we have. So, like I said, a 3 by 3 matrix, the first element over here is plus, minus, plus, then minus, plus, minus, then plus, minus, and plus again. That is the sign okay of the values that we have over here so uh, we are going to take this row first as our starting row so that is going to be we take four okay and then we cancel this row and then what this column so we are going to have what four zero seven one then the sign over here is minus so minus what two so if we take that 2, then if we take this 2 and the sign is minus, so it becomes minus 2, then we cancel this row and then this column. So we are left with what? 3, 0, 5, 1. Then plus the third uh, uh, element over here, which is still 2. Then we have... Then we have we take this element so we cancel this row this column and then this row so we are having three four five seven okay so from here determinant of a is four then into bracket four multiplied by one that is the leading diagonal is four then minus seven multiplied by zero that is zero then we have here minus two into bracket three multiplied by one that is three then minus five multiplied by zero is zero then plus two into bracket three multiplied by seven that is going to give me 21 minus five multiplied by four that is going to give me 20 so this is what four multiplied by what four minus two multiplied by three plus what two into bracket this and this will give me what one so four by four is what 16 minus this is six then what plus two over here so 16 minus 6 that is going to give me 10 plus 2 that will give me what 12 so the determinant of what matrix e is what 12 there's a single value so let's find the determinant of b so determinant of b so let me rewrite the matrix of b so b is what 6 negative 2 2 7 4 negative 6 9 3 and 4 okay so let's have our solution so we have to find the determinant of b so find that b okay so the determinant of b is equal to because we were not told to use any particular rule we go with the first rule okay so it means i take six it is positive if you remember very well i said the first element is plus minus plus then it becomes minus plus minus then plus minus plus as well okay so the first one is plus so we take six if we take six what it means is that we cancel this first row and then what this column over here so we are left with a matrix two by two matrix four negative six three and four then it becomes minus the two over here then we have 
this is supposed to be uh, negative 2 yes this is negative 2 so it's, uh, it's going to be negative minus 2 then the minus over here as well so minus minus 2 okay then I have the matrix so now that I've picked the negative 2 I can cancel this rule and then what this column so I'm, I'm left with the matrix what 7 negative 6 9 and 4 okay then plus the third one which is just the positive 2 over here then I cancel the following rows and columns so because I'm now picking the third element I cancel this row and then what this column so I'm left with what 7 4 9 3 okay so what it means is that my depth B is now 6 into bracket 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 then minus 3 multiplied by negative uh, 6 will give me what negative 18 so I have minus 18 over here then I close this bracket then this becomes negative negative 2 becomes what plus 2 then I have into bracket 7 multiplied by 4 will give me what 28 then minus into bracket 9 multiplied by negative 6 will give me what negative 54 then plus then I have the 2 over here 7 multiplied by 3 will give me 21 minus 9 multiplied by 4 will give me what 36 so I have 6 into bracket 16 plus 18 will give me what 34 plus 2 into bracket 28 minus minus 54 will give me 82 plus 2 into bracket this will give me 2 into bracket negative 15 okay so I have 6 multiplied by 34 that is 204 plus 8 uh, 2 multiplied by 82 will give me 164 164 plus 2 multiplied by negative 15 will give me negative 30 so my final answer will be what 338 as the determinant of b hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be talking about the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix so to find the inverse of a matrix okay what we need to do is for instance let's have the matrix a is equal to then we have a b c and d the inverse of the matrix a can be rewritten as what a raised to the power negative one or a inverse and then this is given to us by the formula 1 over that A, where that A is the determinant of A multiplied by, then what we have over here, the element we have over here, we interchange the position of A and D, so it becomes what D and A over here. Then we negate the other, the, the other diagonal, so it becomes negative B and then C. Okay, so this is how we find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix so let's have a look at an example so assuming we have the matrix a is equal to 3 1 and then 2 5 okay and we have to find the inverse of this matrix so for us to find the inverse of this matrix let's look at how we are going to uh, go around doing that so we know the formula for finding the inverse of the matrix is a inverse is equal to 1 over that a then multiplied by then we interchange the, uh, the leading diagonal and then we negate sorry this is supposed to be negative c then we negate the following diagonal okay so what it means is that for over here our a inverse is going to be what 1 over that a which is the determinant of a multiplied by if we interchange the position of the leading diagonal here will become 5 and this side will become 3 then we negate the following diagonal so it becomes negative 1 negative 2 okay so now let's find the determinant of a the determinant of a which is that a is equal to then we multiply the leading diagonal that is what 5 multiplied by 3 then minus then the following diagonal which is 2 multiplied by 1 so this is what 15 minus 2 and this is what 13 so the determinant of a is 13 
So now that we have the determinant of a to be 13, it means our a inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of a which is 13, then multiplied by what? 5, negative 1, negative 2, and 3. Okay, so it means our a inverse is simply 1 multiplied by 1 over 13 multiplied by 5 will give us what? 5 on 13. Then 1 on 13 multiplied by negative 1 will give us what? Negative 1 on 13. Then 1 on 13 multiplied by negative 2 gives us negative 2 on 13. And then 1 on 13 multiplied by 3 will give us what? 3 on 13. So this becomes what? The inverse okay, of the matrix A over here. So let's have a look at another example. So we have matrix B given to us by b is equal to then we have the, the elements 3 negative 2 then 7 and 4 so we have to find what b inverse so what it means is that the inverse of b is equal to what 1 over depth b okay multiplied by then we interchange the position of the leading diagonal so it becomes what 4 and 3 then we negate these two uh, following diagonal so if we negate negative 2 it becomes positive 2 we negate 7 it becomes what negative 7 okay now we need to find the determinant of b to find the determinant of b the determinant of b is equal to the product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the following diagonal so it's going to be 3 multiplied by 4 so we have 3 multiplied by 4 then minus then the following diagonal which is 7 multiplied by what negative 2 so this is going to give me 12 minus 7 multiplied by negative 2 give me what negative 14. So this becomes 12 plus 14 and that is equal to what 26. So it means our determinant of B is 26. So which simply means our B inverse okay, or our inverse of B is equal to 1 over 26 multiplied by what 4, 2, negative 7 and 3 this is 2 okay so our b inverse is equal to now if you multiply 1 by 1 on 26 by 4 we are going to get what 4 on 26 okay and then if you multiply 1 on 26 by 2 we are going to get what 2 on what 26 now if you multiply 1 on 26 by 7 negative 7 we are going to get negative 7 on 26 and if we multiply 1 on 26 by 3 we are going to get 3 on what 26 now we can simplify this matrix 2 going to 4 2 times 2 going to what 26 13 times so we have 2 over 13 over here 2 going to itself 1 it will go here 13 so we have 1 over 13 over here these guys cannot divide each other no uh we don't have any number that can go into two uh and then we don't have any value that can go into these two as well to simplify them so it means our b inverse or the inverse of b is the matrix 2 on 13 1 on 13 negative 7 on 26 and then 3 on 26 3 on 26 so this becomes the inverse of the matrix what B. so thank you so much for watching this is how we find the inverse of a two by two matrix so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye